what's up, man? It's your boy Big Play Killer. I got you another blue chip episode. I got two back to back ready to go, man. Hey, we rocking with Yowsh. Let's get it. Yeah. Harlem. Let's go. Blue Chips, the most anticipated My Player series, starring Caesar Benton. It's me. Ah, oh, hello, baby. Hola, mami, ¿cómo está? Hi, hi. Yo, yo, what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? Ay, Dios mío, mami, pero qué es esto? You're always taking care of the down and outs. Hey. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, but you gotta let them into the house. Aw. Oh. These are my boys, baby, just like you. <laughs> I watch them grow up. Yeah, well, apparently your boys and your real son got some work to do. So, ladies, we gotta roll. Uh. Come on, let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Mrs. L, you still the best cook I know. Mm, 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 mm. Everything was kind of like how they was before. My mom wasn't even sweating me now. I had some money to break her off every now and again. She wasn't even tripping on what was going on in the NBA. It was great. Here you go, mommy. Take this, okay? Take care. I gotta go. Take okay? care. You take care, son. Dealing drugs, people getting killed, nightclubs. You take care. Go to school. Be, go somewhere. It's not too late, my baby. I mean, but you got it all wrong. I mean, it's not like that anymore. You know, I, I know good people, I know bad people, you know, but I know the difference. I mean, I know I made mistakes, but things are better now. I mean, how many times we got to go over this? If things are better now, then why are you always like this? Right, but you take the money, right? You take the fucking money every time. Get out of my house. Right. What choice do I have? I lost my job. Yeah, well, call one of your other kids, the one you ain't ashamed of. I was so sick of this, man. Every time I think everything's going good, man, she just kind of flip out on me, man. Look, I know I'm not doing the best, living up to all my potential, but I'm trying to do what I can do, man, to get this money up, man. We waiting, bro. Look, they know about one more job, man. Yeah, We're going to yeah, do I'm this one ahead. last job. It's going to hit for a big lick, and I should be done with this game for a while. Can you get us to the docks out in Bohan, dude? Hell yeah, man. Y'all better be right on this shit, man. Homies playing around, they always playing, but this is some serious stuff right here. We can die out here in these streets, man. Shit, yo, that was some shit straight out of movie, man. I'm not paying attention because I see myself dying, man. I don't, I don't know if this is some intuition kind of stuff or what, but I got to get out of here, man. I got to get back to playing basketball, man. This is this cannot be my life, man. I can't end up like this. I'm nervous after last time, Luis. Can you look about to see we got no imminent danger? Inspection on the way. Man, what's that, man? Somebody shooting, man. Let me see what's going on, man. Let me get back. Man, I hope my homies ain't getting taken out right now, man. Oh, yeah, it's going down. Let me get my piece right. I got that uh, Make You See Jesus right here, man. Let me look. Watch this right here. I got that Life Snatcher right here, baby. Ooh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That real deal holy fear right here, man. Look, man, this is how it was in the hood, man. I don't want to be out here. But you see these drugs in the back? Drugs in the back like this cause people to do things like this right here, man. Hey, I'm going to make them see Jesus, man. Got that goddamn hallelujah, baby. Yes, sir. 
I'm trying to tell these boys, man. I got that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. See how I dropped them motherfucking. What's going on over here, man? There's a lot of activity going on over here. Hold on. Get, get some, son. Get some, baby. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I squeeze with this right here. Dirt now. Ooh, those stairs look like it hurt. Face first into the concrete stairs. I might have hurt more than the bullets. Look at these guys getting sprayed up like John Wayne up in here, dog. I'm just. You know, I'm letting people feel it, dog. I mean, look, I'm not proud of this. I'm trying to tell y'all, look, I'm not proud of this, man. But look, I, I got all these texts and stuff. You think I just got this stuff for fun? I had to use it one day on something, man. Look, if the NBA found out this is this was me, this is what I was doing, I know I'll never have a shot, man. But if I wasn't doing this, I would never have a shot in the NBA because I might be dead in the gutter somewhere. You don't want to see this, baby. What are you at? What are you at? Let's take him out. Let's take him out. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 in the neck and forehead. Here we go. Here we go. Last one. Last one. I see him. I got him. Uh oh, what's, it? what's going on? Oh, shit. The cop. The cops. The cops. The cops. Play the old shit. Oh, he didn't see. Him. He didn't see. Him. He didn't see. Him. Oh shit, chill, 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 chill. He ain't see me, man. He didn't see me, y'all. He didn't see me. Chill, chill, chill. Like you. Hey, put the gun up. Put the gun up. Put the gun up. Oh, put the gun. Okay. He don't see me, dog. He don't even know I'm out here. He don't even understand what's going on right now. He nervous. He fighting a criminal right now. I'm an innocent bystander right now. That's all this guy know. I'm an innocent bystander. Come on, cop. Do your job, man. Protect and serve, man. Protect and serve. That's what I'm talking about. We need to get this stuff back to the heights. We earned it, yo. Follow me in that car. We got the money. We did what we had to do. I can pay some people off now, but this shit was wrong on so many levels, man. I'm putting everything on the line for this little bullshit, man. Damn. Fuck. I knew these guys really wanted to be the streets, man. I didn't want to be the streets. I wanted to get as far away from the streets as I could, man. This is my last time doing this for a while, man. I'm calling my agent today. Thanks for your help, bro. Yeah, I guess my shooting was more important than my man management skills on this business trip. For real, we gonna get paid, bro. Give us a call, okay? Yeah, dude, let's hang. There was no hanging out for me. My agent told me if I could get a plane ticket to Arizona, I would be on the Mad Ants team. I don't know if y'all remember, but we played against this team before, and they got Balamuti on their team. This guy actually played in the NBA before, so I knew I could talk to him, learn a lot from him, and I could rely on him in the games. 13, 8, and 3. Those were my old numbers when I was playing with the Texas Legends. So let's see what I can do with the ants and see can we change those numbers around i'm feeling real good right now now i will say it was a little different because they would let me control the rock a lot i was a little excited man i was i was trying to rush and press real hard to make a good impression and i was kind of messing up but i mean to get picked up by another d-league team this was my second chance the thing about it is they came right back to me with the ball and i was like what you know, my last team, I would have never got the ball back. It's right after the turnover again. And But the coach called a timeout. I was like, oh, hell. So I guess he was going to take me out or something. But honestly, he just told me to calm down and let the game come to me. And he sent me back out there again. So I was like, okay, that's what's up. And this was the difference with the Mad Ants. I had two legitimate big men. So now I could work the ball to these guys and not have to force shots. 
By the motel, he was seizing. He had poise. I could go to this guy late in the shot clock. And he would come through for it. I can tell he was happy. He had a teammate like me. And I was taking these guys. I mean, I was a little rusty. But with my work ethic, I just kept going hard. Kept pushing, kept getting back into plays, getting rebounds. My big men were showing up, getting blocks. We was just beating the ball all kind of ways. And they kept feeding me the peel, man. If the ball's in my hands, good things are going to happen. And I'm going to come back to these guys. And he's just swatting people stuff, man. Running the break. And I'm not a greedy guy. I understand you got to share the wealth and keep everybody in the game. Now I didn't have to force my shots. I could kind of look at the defense and find the soft spots and just use the same skills I was taught in boys club, man. Get your body in the, between the defender and score. I mean, I was playing nice defense. Working the offense, still just getting a double team, sprinting around, getting to my teammates. I mean, these guys are professionals too. They know what to do with the pill. Even when I gamble sometimes, Balamuta was right there to back me up. And that's what I'm saying. When you have teammates, you got guys that you can depend on. Look at that. Look at the nice three ball, man. And we were starting to pull away from these guys. I seen Palamute cutting again. Look at this, man. It's... This is how it should have been from day one, man. This is how it should have been. I'm looking up at the scoreboard like, wow. Wow, for real? We doing it like this? I mean, look, I'm just taking my time. My teammates come back to me. Bow! Balamute, looking over here in the corner. He sees me, but he sees another guy with a better shot. So he goes to the open. He was playing mad defense. He was just crazy. Everybody was alive. Everybody was just giving they all. And this is the kind of team I want to play on right here. I knew if I would fight on this team and just keep fighting, good things would happen. I wouldn't get taken out for anything dumb. And I could just play and be myself. And once I get that kind of swag, that kind of just feel of being appreciated, like I'm a part of the team, like this is really my team, everything starts to happen right, man. The teammates, they're happy. I'm happy. Everybody's hitting shots. I mean, this is what you want to see, man. Everybody's running their plays. Everybody's getting the ball equally. Balamute, he sees me cutting, throws it up. And this is why I like playing with Balamute, man. This guy is a vet. He sees me. He's not selfish. Throws it up to me, man. He know I know what to do with it, baby. Putting it down. Brooklyn, BK, stand up. I've played maybe 10 games, and this is my best game so far. I mean, this is the best feeling. I feel like I'm I'm back, man. Balamute is loving it. The crowd is getting hyped, man, the Mad Ants. Who would ever thought I'd be playing for a team called the Mad Ants? But, hey, I can't complain, man. I'm loving it. Basketball is back for me. I'm going to try to make the most of this opportunity. It's the third quarter. I feel like this is the game. I mean, like, the best game so far. And this is the third quarter. Look right here. Another steal. Feed me again. Right here. Again. Bim. Finding my man. I mean, Balamute. He hits me again. Boom. And I'm loving this, man. Uh, I mean, I might can play my whole career here with the Mad Ants. This is what it should be like. The coaches looking at me in the huddle, 
I'm not even on uh, outsider anymore. And at the end of this game, I finally felt that feeling that you always want to feel, that gratification. I did my thing, man. You remember my numbers last time. Look at my numbers. 32 minutes this guy. 27 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks. With only a couple days remaining on your 10-day contract, what do you feel your chances are of getting a contract for the rest of the season? With the way I've been playing, I feel like the team would be crazy not to sign me on for the rest of the season. The numbers speak for themselves, know what I'm saying? It was their GM, and I'm not going to beat around the bush any longer. You're going to get a big chance. The NBA. Pack your bags. We're catching the next flight out.